What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my own part of the war. Let's play as the United States of America. And in this episode, uh, we are defending against an attack from the leftover British forces here in the northeast. They've actually got quite a reasonably decent little army here, um, but we have more than enough to deal with them. So let's crack on. We're going to dig in, defend as hard as we can, and push them back. And then we can wrap up all the British forces in this region and then deploy our troops elsewhere. That would be the intention, but let's get cracking on and slaughtering some British, which we've actually been doing quite a lot recently. Rightio, let's see what the terrain looks like. Let's see what we've got to deal with to help protect us. It's pretty bog standard. Okay, uh, let's take my smaller units and deploy them. Yeah, I'd like to be forward a little bit, really. Okay. Deploy them like so, with a line, a small line of infantry. We're going to push a unit, a unit of guns up on each flank. I mean, here's actually not in there. You could do with moving forward a little bit. Keep some of our strongest units out on the flanks so they can try and keep themselves protected. Skirmishes in smaller numbers, that's fine. The house is a little bit too... I mean, in theory, the riflemen aren't... They're not a bad unit to put in this house because their field of fire is reasonable and their the rifle range is still pretty good but i'd rather have them somewhere a little bit close to my line okay group my cavalry up together got my field marshal fire it will off because those pistols are always rubbish i mean in theory they shouldn't come in behind us nope there we go okay cool Oh, I had a third unit of artillery that I badly forgot about. Okay. Let's just push everyone up. We can get you guys into light infantry. Poggle light infantry behaviour. You have to be a bit careful with that. Cause sometimes it generally means that when they start firing, they don't really stop. Here, where's that last gun team? You get up on this high ground and just angle towards the our future foes. Got a howitzers to engage the units that are not falling back. To be honest, you guys can just advance. Leave the guns where they are on the hill. Blast them with canister shot. Actually, I might get my howitzers to try and engage some of this cavalry that's running around at the back. They're just out of range for this line infantry unit, but not for my riflemen. Good hits. Ooh, a hit now would be excellent while they're crossing over. Some of the to get the heavy, get to get their cavalry. Let's bring this other cavalry over to the house. You men are going to be enga are engaging the light cavalry. Objective. There we go, they've been shattered. Excellent. Unlimber these guys. We killed the enemy general. Ok, 
Okay, probably don't need to worry about reclaiming the reinforcements just yet. So these guns back here, that's my howitzers, it's these 12 pounders. Yes, they have the range. Engage those enemy howitzers. The enemy infantry force has been defeated. So it is time to deploy our line to advance and defeat the reinforcements. Now it's just going to start to engage enemy infantry, but they'll soon have to uh, limber up. All my artillery sw switched to round shot. One unit aimed for a different set of guns. Yeah, the Buccaneers got hit hit by quick climb. Now they're being engaged by round shot. Yeah, unsurprisingly, that's not good for them. Okay, let's help our Curacier out. Then we'll send our cavalry detachment probably to go. Actually, no, he's hitting. Actually, we're probably fine. I mean, we could push them up. There we go. They're engaging us with carcass shots. Let's divert our regiment of horse, keep my heavy cavalry fighting. How it says support the flank. There we go. Come on, Regiment of Horse. Ignore that combat. Yeah, they got infantry running around, but not enough. Send our cavalry after them. So let's use my foot artillery to engage the enemy infantry. Push them in. Yeah, they're responding to us, but that is absolutely fine. This Cassier deal with the company infantry. Let's run around this unit of company infantry. They're trying to engage us with their artillery. They have successfully got in the way, but manoeuvre through the formation. Damage them enough to break them, or to shatter them. Good. Charge into the colonial line. The rest of my army is in by the fettle. Okay, you guys can push up and deal with them. These men advance up to here. You drop in the square. You men advance up on the flank. Kill the gunners. Let's get my field marshal up here. Oh, good. A round shot caused them to waver. Oh, and they're broken. Excellent. Shatter them.
gun crews have ran off somewhere. It's the new men form line. Long riflemen redeploy. Both artillery re engage the first regiment. Howitzers cease fire. taken the hammering but we can take it they've got no way of reinforcing their armies in in this part of the world okay let's just try and focus on bullying some of these smaller units that other unit's gonna break yeah it has broken Yeah, we're going to continue just to mop up a couple of units. Or at least attempt to. No, I'm not going to get there. Still, this is a good victory. Not sure who that was, that the route at the end, but still. Good victory. Destroyed a lot of... Oh, so many of their troops. Nearly two-thirds of their army. And you... <laughs> See, they're just going to fall back right to the right into the direction towards our waiting troops. How delightful! Northwest Territories for all of that. Again, not a bad deal, but I'm not going to take that deal. It's not a deal for me. And again, Prussia is in a bit of a bit of an awkward... Actually, no, they're not in an awkward situation, really. They've got a reasonable chunk of land. They're just surrounded by a an all seemingly all-powerful Austria. Although, they won't be all-powerful once we get stuck into them. They're going to want to do that via... Or want to start um, conducting economic war against them. I want to try and keep their financial system suppressed. Then just roll right in there. Maybe even start sending militia cavalry units around to raid and destroy their key economic buildings. I mean, they'll get immediately squashed. But if I can do that, it could work. Mad enough to work. Just send a, just send a few cheap units in, land them in, in, in an undefended port and run in and just start burning mines, factories. Could work quite well. So, so, so. Workers on strike at Tripoli, but not anymore. Okay, let's keep our economy going. go. I mean, sinking a lot of cash into this stuff. Can I recruit them yet? Nope. Again, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure for whatever reason the additional units mod has done something to the special units I should be able to recruit is the US. Just mash those recruit... Just mash those uh, economic upgrades. There we go. Okay, so then up here, Ernest Southerns, you're already replenishing, but you're going to replenish more. Edgar Bevins, you're in a position to just knock out that force. You're still sat here. But we're not going to move. Yeah, so you can cross the strait here. This army isn't going to move. I don't want to give these guys an opportunity to retreat this way. Yeah, you're going to get into here so you can <laughs> repair. This is a fleet. It's been a long time coming. Okay, no options in the Ivory Coast. Straight to Madagascar, there is an Austrian force. And there's none in the West Indies, East Indies. So, I mean, none of our fleets are in a position yet to do stuff although you're 
Actually, maybe. You're going to go join Leslie Hook. You can probably do that as well. Then when these guys are replenished, a good chunk of them are going to join Leslie Hook. Okay, you're up to your full strength. But. You're probably going to end up landing in India. We're going to want two armies to do that. And we're still going to want to be want to tidy up what's going on in the north east. Sir. So Edgar, hit their main strength. Well, to be honest, actually that that force is pretty knackered as it is. They've effectively already been beaten. We are mighty and yeah. unbowed. Forward, march. Just go out there and knock them out. We are it's been done. I cannot do that. Your humble Excellent. Servant. So Ready you guys forward. can move up. Your humble servant. We're Waiting for not actually recruiting much in terms of line infantry here, so there's not a lot of savings to be had. Forward. Here, potentially. For crown and country. Your humble servant. Make ready. At the ready. Oh, that's yes, just sir. the one unit of line infantry. Impossible, sir. At the ready. Ready for so we're not going to condense. Or, or are we going to condense our Hessian line? No, we're going to keep them recruited because I think we've maxed out what we can... Yeah, the amount we can recruit. So to keep the variety up. Make ready. Then when you're fully replenished, you're going to go move against Luke Churchill, who's got a lot of cavalry elements. But they're not going to be a problem. Um, we will move on France at some point. Yes, mustn't forget the Black Hills... I mean, they still really don't like us, which is fair enough. We have kind of invaded. Hey, just keep raiding. I mean, that fleet's not going to move. I want that fleet to come out. Can raid Brest, raid La Havre. To be honest, a Gibraltar. We haven't got the money to do that, but I should recruit lots of cheap ships and just sit them in all of Britain's ports. They're still growing. Their war weariness is dropping. Waiting for their orders. We have an opportunity. I know, although I suppose those two armies in the northeast. Oh god alive. They have not had enough. They really like the northeast. Interesting. They can't forgive. They can't forgive us, and they don't want to abandon their and their claim. Again, another in really interesting trade, but no. You could int you could absolutely make that trade and then declare war on them and get it back because they won't defend it, not in great numbers. And whatever no whatever army they do build there, it will be a fairly bog standard colonial army with a couple of hessian line units and probably the rest is militia so it'd be really easy to get back and it'd be a really good way to jump up the tech tree you know if you were in a pinch that is completely a fair and appropriate way to do it but right now i'm at a size where i don't need that technology so desperately you know i've already got plenty of things to invest my money in every turn i don't need to advance my up my I don't need to advance my army, I don't need to advance my navy, I don't need to advance my economy that much yet. Yep, so you're going to carry on doing your thing, but the main thing we are interested in... Ready for action. Are the Brits up here? Vincennes, Minerva... <gasps> you take too much victory! Bomb catches and fifth rates. Fleet ready. Well, Leslie Hook... Actually, first of all, can these ships reach them? They can... Some of them can't. The smaller ships can't, but that's fine. We're not expecting them to. I want to filter out my best second rate. I mean, you're... <laughs> that's quite a heavy fleet right there. Let's move... 
the ships out into the sea where they can be joined by Sebastian Sebastian Hooker not Leslie Hook let's bring some of our fifth rates out because we can start to build a another trade fleet with them Leslie Hook let's go get them let's go take the victory Take the victory and capture or destroy the, the entire army they've got on board. Let's go get them. So I think with this done, there is that army still on in Newfoundland. But once we deal with them, it's going to be for me, well, we need to attack the mainland. Because we don't want them to keep doing this to us. It's diverting too many of our forces and too much of our effort away. So we need to... We would either need to make peace with them or kill them. And I think you all know what side of that I want to come down on. Standard formation. We don't have the weather gauge, so we're going to have to be... I'll try and be a bit more clever. But we're going to effectively force them to sail in one direction. There's the victory. Glorious victory. So you think they got victory. Four, three, second rate. Heavy first further at the back, and then a heavy first right at the back. So that heavy first at the right at the back is going to be great. They're not going to get into the action for a while. Obviously, this run are all smaller ships. You haven't got to worry about, worry, worry about quite so much. Kangaroo, the war galleon, Oxford. You're, you should. Although, to be honest, they're, they're going with the wind, so they're not too slow. Okay, let's let time compression do what it can do. Yeah, I want to dismast victory okay uh, I think we need to okay think broadly I need to abandon my plan my fleet move movement plan and instead go for something like this otherwise I don't think we're going to get in get into position in in time at least this way we can start start taking some shots and I'm happy well actually I want everyone to sail at full sail because I want as many of my ships to get up into position as possible I don't mind if there's a bit of overtaking or ships bumping into other ships at the back be a victory streaking ahead of the light of their light column Bomb catch is coming right at us. Okay, let's. Okay, right. Your next broadside might be chain. That's going to work out quite well. Well, yeah, the other one, Amphion and Congress, to take out victory. She's sailing right into us. Sadly, Majestic's going to suck out the broadside from Amphion. Drop anchor. Sheena, you're okay to move on. As long as Amphion is also in a position to move on. you shift your axis of advance to be more like this it will take it will make them slower actually no just stick with stick stick with where you are 
Turn four, it will off for uh, Amphion, so they're in a position to engage Victory. V Victory in particular. Shot away the Mizzen. You've killed the Admiral. Fire at will. Hopefully aim at Africa. Well, Victory. Shaken. Top of the main mast is shot away. Let's get this ship to sail ahead. Switch to round shot. Pummel. Victory. Yeah, actually, you can probably start to turn to engage the new fleet. Cumberland sail on ahead. Start engaging, trying to engage resolution. Just pummeling shots into victory. Trying to sail away, it's just no good. And she on the fire chain because they've got a lot of. They're coming at us with a lot of sails. Fourth rate. Shot the top of her main mast away. Oh, they're coming in to try to save victory. The bomb catches under heavy fire. You're just going to keep bombarding. Fire chain shot. Whip, whip their masts off. That makes small ships very unhappy. Sail up to block off the Rosé. Pivot to try to get some good shots into resolution. To make a couple of these smaller ships go a bit faster towards the back line. Pivot, really, you're no good to us there. Cumberland's in a good position to engage the fourth rate. Victory is still wavering. Whip away her map. Surrendered. Cumberland can begin to sail around to other targets. You just sit where you are and engage Majestic. Try to sail around. You need to start pummeling broadside into these ships, otherwise you're going to go down. Get in front of resolution, and then you'll just hold hold the fort. Bomb catch is going under. There goes Majestic. Cumberland move around. Wera is on fire. Pivot to get some shots onto resolution. Pivoting into resolution. Fire your broadside. Come on, weather. Fire. 
You still on fire? No, you are not. Engage as you wish. Prep for your broadside. Sail into the wind. It's not going to be actually no loop around. British sh ships are sailing into a little cauldron. Try to sail out ahead. You try to get her onto the back. Resolution surrendered. Try to sail out and away. Start firing the chain. This Rose is likely to go down to Amphion. Archers trying to sink the victory. Excellent. They're all they've all sailed straight into us, so none of them are able to actually return fire. At least not in a way that they want to. We've set victory on fire. Let's sail Congress away. Start to try hit the mast of Vincien. Minerva's lost the main mast. Keep one of my second rates in order to chase down non-such? Non non-such, I guess. It's probably German. Ah, oh, victory sinking. Archer successfully deprived us of our prize. I... Thank <laughs> you. Maybe I to drop a broadside in against defence. Pivot a little bit, you can start engaging Oxford. Keep firing chain. Okay, you guys switch. Curse you, Archer. Either way. The invasion fleet is being destroyed. No, you stay where you are. You sail on. His defence is right there. You got a handful of guns to bring to bear. Not feeling the most comfortable for Africa right now. My, you mean my, my admiral's flagship? Pandora surrendered. Okay, because we're firing it, we're not firing at will because my ship is on fire. Lost her last mast. The kangaroo, the war galleons causing problems for Africa. Just keep firing both broadsides both directions. There we go. Kangaroo is broken. Oh, 
on such as has just booked it. Still on fire? Yeah, you are still on fire. Okay, now try loop around that way. Don't need to sail in front of Ocean because Ocean's actually getting some shots off. Although Africa may explode because they're on fire a lot. Sail resistance into the spot. Another ship's on fire. Congress is on fire. No, they put it out. Okay, Africa is gone. See, victory is still sunk. Last your lovers, he's on he's on, not on fire anymore. Fire at will. Although you've not got many guns to bring into the fight, so he's still gonna get out of the way. sell you on ahead to create a gap. To get my Admiral out of there. Okay. Amphion, just stay where you are. I'm more shots into the Shen. Defense is on fire. Get through the slot. Macedonian is surrendered. Okay, start firing chain shot again. Zinchen is is a possible mover. There we go. Come on, thread your way through. Ship next to heart she just exploded. He's done by a round shot. Push Vigo forward a bit. They're sailing into the cauldron. Gepard's chasing them down. Defense is on fire. Kangaroo <laughs> defense has exploded. Kangaroo's probably on fire. comes Vincien. Switch to chain shot. Try hit the mast through. You sail into the slot. I mean, a lot of these ships just kind of sitting back, waiting for it, waiting for them, waiting for them to come through the gap.
try to get you guys around the back. I mean, there's no point trying to do that with my heavies, it'll take too long. You can fire chain into Oxford, although you might be in the way of the heavies from firing. Or blocking the heavies from firing, although you've knocked out the uh, mizzen from Oxford. Over she goes. phase ideally your resolution would actually blow up because they've that's provided them some really nice cover from the from the stern well I might so I might have to try and sell you guys around actually no you're you're fine Right. Actually, better off. You guys are fine just the way you are. These ships need to exit the fight. So you're trying to fire through Macedonian to hit Minerva. We've got Vincennes. Vincennes on fire. These guys can get out of the fight. You're going to stay engaged. You've not got many guns to fire. Actually, yeah, you might get out of the fight. Gepard has captured the fifth rate. They tried to flee. Or didn't try to flee, just sailed the wrong direction. Excellent. Yeah, you guys get out of the way You can just start to hit Oxford. So that's my Admiral's flagship. Congress is in, Congress is in a position to start pummeling Oxford. You've not engaged Oxford yet. But you could do, in theory. Everyone sail at full speed. Even though sailing isn't really what they're doing. But yeah, it's down to the, these two heavy firsts now. I just gonna suck up the punishment. Ward side away. Oh, these ships are gone. Don't even try. No point shooting at them. They're out of here. <laughs> Delightful. They've sailed into a real traffic jam. Stri strike your colours, lads. He's going below, he's had enough of this. So, I mean, imagine you have the deck of a ship, you're like, oh, don't worry, those are all enemy ships. Except for those, over ours, but they've struck their colours. 
How are you doing, Oxford? Good. Excellent. Still loving shots in the nerve. Beef. Finally wavering, both of them. Okay, now Ocean's going to try and hit Minerva. Okay, if we turn you, you can start to engage with your port battery. Wasting it to try to shoot a Minerva through two other ships. There you go. Knocked out the last mast. Both of them are down. That's a great victory for the US Navy. That wasn't a close victory. We had plenty of good ships. Don't know what they're talking about. Sadly, we didn't get a victory, and we likely never will, unless they rebuild her. So we're not going to take... The smaller ships. We're going to take the big boys. The entire army is destroyed. This fleet make for Yorktown for repairs. You make for Louisburg for repairs. Excellent. And then... New chaps also replenish. Okay, let's recruit some ships for Sebastian Hooker. Check our construction. A lot of industrial mines. Miserata has got a church school which we want to expand. I mean, by the looks of it, Sir. Forward. the Forward. Brits have abandoned Cagliari. Well, I don't they haven't abandoned it. Make for the steam dried... Ooh! Okay, how confident are we feeling? Probably pretty confident. Uh, if we do, I'm going to want more backup. We've already got some native infantry that we can bring over. And because it's in Tunis, let's keep... Well, as well, so let's keep recruiting native infantry. That's all we can recruit. Okay, that's that dealt with. I'll probably set that up to end the episode because I might go after the Prussians. The um, Austrians here. Let's recruit. Start recruiting some light galleys to go raid some of these ports and then we can try and block them off into the Adriatic so we don't have to do this again let's take this fleet out Carl well Leonard let's let's cap let's capture their ships and then yeah but I think we'll end with the the first battle on Sardinia Looking at the timer, we are close to the end of the episode. Uh, we're not gonna uh, make it so. So we want to go to the right, then we're gonna slink around to the left. The handy thing about this fleet is I don't really mind losing. Losing losing uh, ships from this fleet, and I can immediately re replenish it from the ones I ships I'm just capturing. I'm sure I might just do that then, if they're willing to sail towards my line in a manner in which I control the engagement, then I will cross their T. And they're sailing directly into the wind, so we should be great. Medusa, Fuchs. Adrian, Blacks, and Gazelle. We've got our own Adrian. Learning Colorado, Reprisal, Merrimack, Connecticut, Westner, Argus, Intrepid, Pandora, Pegasus. Okay. 
So you've already captured you before, except last time you were a fourth rate, now you're a fifth rate. Maybe the Austrians are running out of money. They're still trying to manoeuvre to cut us off, but I think we just... Yeah, we have the weather gauge, so I don't know quite what they are expecting. Like you see, right when we've engaged with them, they've elected to just turn into us. Uh, or not. They want to get into a gun battle. Attach the back of my line. Try cut them off. We're going to sail around them like jackals. I'm playing this in, in fast forward mode because it doesn't. Until we start getting into. Until we start getting into um, the close in battle, this is all a bit irrelevant. Very well. Sail my fleet like so. Could lose my admiral here, but it seems like much of a muchness. Take a rage cut back across. It looks like they want to. They just keep sailing. This has all become very. Positional. Only one ship on fire. Okay, let's try to keep my Admiral out of the firing line. Picking on Adrian to the rear. And on at full speed. I want to see, I want to try hobble your ships, Austria. You still on fire? Yes, you are, so we can't actually engage. Send some of these smaller ships to directly chase down their fleet. in a position now we can start to try and head them off you can try and resist the temptation to pursue and instead start engaging the head of these fifth rays if we can sort of isolate them our admiral's fallen Adrian is rig as a broken. Broke by a chain into the mast of Medusa.
Admiral's flagship's routing, but this Adrian is back. Good firing to the head of Fuchs. You gotta reload. So you're engaging Fuchs from this. Actually, you might start trying and fire with a. Actually, no, we need, to, we need to destroy some of these ships. Try hobble their um, maneuverability, I think. Okay, they're breaking us into these smaller ship actions. I think that's the name of the game. We stop them from being able to manoeuvre quite so fast. Get the sig rate just ahead of Adrian. The lightning can engage. Ready to fire your starboard battery into Gazelle. Not quite fully formed, but there's not a lot really you can do. Okay, you need to get back into this. Push in. Broadside right. My weakness in naval battles is beginning to show again. No. They need to scoot around. Broadside's not ready in time. You try board, Adrian. Okay, you need. We need to go after Lax. Oh, there we go. They're back in action. Sixth rate's going to pay for it. Get Merrimack over to join the remainder of the fleet. Fire broadside right. Fifth race going to sail out of our engagement range. Okay, start to engage Lax. Chain shot with Connecticut. You keep sailing at high speed because that fifth rate is sailing towards you in that instance. Excellent, another ship has returned. Pivot and engage. Adrian is routing. They may well come back. Switch my 6 3 to round shot. Just keep firing at range.
need to bear in mind we've got a fourth rate here that's quite badly damaged. Yeah, there's the fifth rate. The fifth rate's back again. Keep engaging at range. Sinking. Excellent. Sixth rate, keep sniping at range. Fifth rate, keep engaging the enemy at distance as well. This fifth rate, push forward. Vastner's about to be engaged by Luke's Lux. You might be able to engage Luke's. Go with the wind. More hits against Lax. All of you guys are going to try and engage Medusa. Vasta's a bit exposed. Get his fifth rate to push forward. No, Vasta, no. Too bad. Okay, focus on Medusa. Focus fire. Focus our fire. The fifth rates can engage other targets. You're going to load chain. She might have, you might start to hit lax. These three ships on Medusa should be okay. If you give them a good blast of chain shot, knock out a mass, that could be critical. Excellent. You try and sail around this way. Intrepid is able to engage Fuchs. Netiquette 6 3 is also in a position. Netiquette, hold where you are and keep engaging. Pandora, you, yeah, Pandora's within range of Fuchs. We want to jump onto Lax while we can. Both these fifths are in range. It looks like they want to go after my sixth rate. But Connecticut can sit here and load and fire as fast as they can. Put shots into you. At least we know that Lax can't go anywhere. We currently can engage her without Correct. Vasno, Vasno engage with a port battery, does not look like it. You definitely can't engage him with chain. Sixth rate, yeah, it just keeps pecking away. Come 
on you lad, pivot! Pivot, damn you! Come on, you, you should be engaged, yeah, you can get long range, but you can be engaged by another fourth rate. Try to sell you forward, because again, it's all about concentrating our firepower. Book it, six three. They're after you. See you later, suckers! If you can, you're gonna give him a blast of chain shot. It's gonna have to be round shot, but you might be able to shoot it, folks. distance to these two again. I can still engage. Still picking them off. Let's go. Go fast mode. Speed! Starting to acknowledge the reality they're in. So you're going to hunker down there because you've got a field of fire on both of those ships. You're going to push forward. Yeah, they do want my sick three. Have to try and push forward. Yeah, they're trying to cut off my sick rate. Well, I'm not going to let you have it. In fact, these guys are all going to sail this way. It's going to position to try cover. And everyone's going to go. Full sail. I'm going to keep engaging, Lax, because you might actually want to do some really good damage. Tend to do some really good damage because you're, you're in a position just to keep engaging the head of their column. They can't do anything to stop you. Keep pummeling. I'm sure you're a full sail just so they, they do miss you. Sailing at high speed. Adrian, get over here at high speed. This is much more of a technical engagement than I thought it was going to be. I 
just keep loading and firing. Go on, 6 3. Get into a position to engage lags. Don't worry about Gazelle. Gazelle, which is sprinting in. There goes Fuchs, finally. Fuchs around, find out. Let's see if a cheeky couple of broadsides can get into. get him to um, surrender. to cut right down the back. Okay, he's coming this he's coming right for my sick three. So you're gonna start engaging Gazelle. You're engaging Blacks. Yep, Fuchs is sinking. Starboard battery! Or well, poor battery rather, not starboard. A couple of them got their rammers out. Oop, they've stowed them. She's routing. Back in the saddle. Get the six ready to cut around. You reload with chain. Get ready to load a broadside with your port battery. Lightning's engaging. Try to get you guys to loop around. You're almost loaded. Wavering, he's wavering. Routing. Oh, I lost that. I'm gonna fire the broadside anyway. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, that was a bit dicier than I thought it was gonna be. Never underestimate the AI at sea, man. They know exactly what they're doing. Compared to me. Hey, my Admiral survived. Nash only lost one ship. I suppose they surrendered. They bring all their ships into the fleet. Oh no, my Admiral did die. Well, the reprisal will be Radcliffe Ashton. Excellent. Underway. Get it back into Sandy Bay. Let's. Ah, oh, there we go. I forgot this is Mad Anthony Wayne. There we go. Roger Laverett. Excellent. Um around at the dry dock we don't we don't really need any more rocket ships are really fun um but what do we need to do anything else i don't think we need to need to do anything else well we need to do a bit of organizing although you're probably going to push over here uh navy So by the looks of it, you can, well actually you can wait, you can be replenished, and then we will send you to Iceland, you guys bring your troops back to Boston, because we are building up our India invasion force. Men. Any further orders? Forward. 
Although we've got plenty of infantry already recruited. Go to cavalry. You need two units of oh, US Marines. Yes. Let's get a unit of US Marines plus a unit of regular Marines. Let's get a long row from an unit and a skirmish unit, and we can probably Oh no, we don't need a don't need a Rangers, good. That means then you're that's your done as well. Although you're Oh, that's all the stuff that I've just recruited largely. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. If there's a de if there's a deep confliction problem, then I will sort that out yes, later. Sir. Let's recruit a skirmisher general, Evan J. And start to recruit another army for the invasion of India. And they're definitely going to get some continental marines. Excellent. Uh, actually, let's not recruit. Constantinople Marine. Let's not recruit um, any of the cavalry either. Cars, I need to be ready because I'm going to tee up. Well, actually, I actually might. Do I have any. Can you lose a militia unit? You can. You can move this country. fleet out. They so can pick up the African Don't native infantry reinforcements. Forward. Deposit them off the coast so that they're already in position. Any orders? So in Granville, Stapleton deploys his troops against Marcus Amphil. We've already, we've already got our reinforcements um, on Sardinia itself. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of the United States. Cheers, everyone.